I'm just going to be giving like tips for you, you know, during this exam and even post examination. I know this will be useful for people that are writing 2022 diets, you know, November and even in the coming years, right? So I'll just put it all together, you know, just to encourage someone out there. If you are writing case study, please watch to the end. So hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be discussing keys to success in ICANN examination. I know as the ICANN exam gets closer, there is always this fear of unpreparedness among students. You know, you feel like you are not prepared enough for the exam. Also, there's a fear of failing even before you start. So, I've gotten a couple of comments on my previous ICANN videos and I haven't replied to them. I just feel like I should make this video to probably encourage them, someone out there and I believe this video will help one or two persons because trust me, when I was also writing the exam, I was looking for, you know, like encouragement and people's experiences here and there. So yeah, so I have my ICANN daughter here <laughs> where I'm going to be, you know, sharing my thoughts and like the points I've listed down here. Number one, eliminate your fears. A lot of what ifs, mixed emotion of hope and anxiety. And trust me, you're not alone. I've been there, not once, not twice. In fact, so I've lost count at this point. And here I am today with the ACA acronym to my name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You know, there are times when I wish the exam can be postponed and you probably feel the same way. But the reality is, even if the exam is postponed, you would not feel prepared enough. However, your first victory is to clear the negative thoughts from your mind and reassure yourself that you are prepared for these exams. Don't let your mind be troubled. I can exam will come and go. So ensure that you've done your part in attending lectures, you know tutorials i believe by now you have done your intensive preparation and that's for people writing this diet as of the time i'm making this video but then again for you know incoming years you have to like prepare early enough as soon as you know that you're writing this exam attend classes it's very important to attend tutorials right because it's really going to help you the key thing is to start studying early as early as possible. Know that you are already in this and you are going to write the exam. Fear would only increase the possibility of failure and that is not an option to consider. Rest assured that there are so many people that are not even as prepared as you are but they passed the examination. Case in point, when I did my wedding in 2020, that was November, right? You guys, I had, you know, just written a diet made and I failed, woefully, because the way I to give I can't the two um, papers I had left. I think it's two or three. They just gave me back and it was like so devastating. I was really, really frustrated. In fact, I don't know which was to use. But um in November, I was preparing for my wedding and I can exam would be, I think, a week after the wedding. So when I wanted to do the, the exam, like I, I, I had in mind, I had determined that, see, I'm going to write this exam regardless. Like I know that I was not even prepared enough and I would probably not even have time to prepare enough. Like the last time I did for the May diet, I prepared, put my haul, and I still failed it. And for November, I mean, I was preparing for, I was working, right, in bank, and then I was also preparing for my wedding ceremony. It was a lot of this thing, like, I was super busy that period, so it's just reasonable that I should have just probably, like, shifted the diet, right, the exam. Even my family were, like, scared me. My husband was like, are you sure you can do this? <laughs> Maybe you should just, like, my, my parents, everybody around me were like, see, I think you should take it to but I was just like in my mind I made up my mind that regardless of the outcome, I had made up my mind that see, come what's me, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that I won't pass like the last time. And it helped me so much that I prepared so much for the last diet May and I didn't get any results. So I'm just like I'll just do my best this time. Whatever it is that I can do, I'll do it. I won't do I'll do just what I can do and let's see how it goes. That was my whole plan, right? And you guys Lo and behold, results came out. It was unbelievable. Like the time that was least prepared was when I passed those, I think, two or three papers that I had left. So you get what I'm saying when I say be rest assured that there are many people that are not even as prepared as you are and they will still pass the examination. So go into the example with all confidence that you guys, okay? And God got you. Second, prepare yourself for the exam. This is important as you could get disorganized in a very short time and this could affect your performance in the exam. Know the examination center. You can even visit beforehand, you know, especially when maybe it's like your first time writing the exam or 
maybe in my case i had to relocate you know and then the last diet i did i had to do it in lagos because it was after my marriage right so my husband is always the <laughs> meticulous and prepared type like it was like we have to go and know the place at least confirm that oh this is the place and then so it helps us to prepare our minds and prepare everything possible maybe you know how lagos can, can be traffic and so many other things so we had gone there like i think a day or two before the main exam to just know the place so yeah it's something you could consider as well also get your clothes ready yes it probably sounds weird see some examination or the <laughs> the ac and two and i don't know you might be the type that you know you're not really like good when it comes to cold or i mean who is nobody wants to be frozen like fish but some it, i feel like it can affect because i struggled sometimes back i think it was jogo center when i was in Ibadonda. yes it was so much that and what i was wearing was not you know combating the um, cold for me and it can it will definitely affect your concentration basically and focus something that is not like you know everything that you're seeing in the exam paper <laughs> already and then you're not having distraction like cold mm. so yeah you want to be prepared get a cardigan or sweater if possible i mean it's better you don't need it and you have it than you need it <laughs> and you don't have your writing materials must be ready pens at least two calculators if possible to see <laughs> i don't know i've had some like really funny experiences when it comes to i can exam i will add a time i think it was my last diet still that one i did after my wedding that my calculator basically stopped working like it stopped working i know so you don't necessarily have to get to especially if you are sure that the one you have is working perfectly well you know mine at that time <laughs> let me not lie i knew you could fuck up somehow not really but the point is i've been using the calculator for a long time all through i can exam i think i'm just like this this could probably be the last time for me why should i waste money buying another calculator like i mean so i just risked it like let me just go in with it the calculator started doing you know what <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot but you get the point try and get your materials ready as much as possible because trust me a lot of people everybody will be concentrated on trying to get this exam done you probably might not see options when it comes to you know you're already in the exam go with a wristwatch it helps you keep tabs of time if you want to know how time flies please sit for icon examination before you know it three hours paper looks like 30 minutes yes so you want to go with a wristwatch to be sure of like you're timing yourself and you're very conscious of you know how much time you spend on probably a question then third point get the examination all early it's still part of preparation right see it's not an easy task finding seats in an icon exam it can be a plain task seat number <laughs> so it's best to you know get to the all very early enough you know, such that you can easily you know find the way around the seat and again it's important to get there early because those officials can be sometimes you get there and you're seeing that they've started locking the door and once the door is shut you know also in part of preparation for the exam probably like when you get to the examination center and maybe everybody is still reading before they call everybody in or even like maybe before you get to the examination or some of us get to read in the car and stuff but one thing i would say is avoid panic reading yes it increases your anxiety <laughs> have you had situation where you get to the exam and completely forget what you've read like you see question one like this and everything you've read so far just out of the window <laughs> so you don't want to involve yourself in groups that they are you know testing their intellectual progress just before the examination and you're like this person is like have you read this oh this have you read this? Oh, please it can be confusing like and you can really speed up your anxiety level revise your summarized jota of course like few days to i can examination you are not expected to be carrying the high can study pack as big as just one um study pack is for one course you're not expected to be carrying it around anymore in months to the exam you should have summarized like each pack you know summarize your notes from tutorials and all summarize them so when it's close to the exam or probably your examination day you're just going over your summarized tutors pathfinders you would have done questions you know on it because if you're amongst the group of people that you know try to talk about everything that they have read you will feel like you've not read anything read instructions and attempt all questions as required of you if you think there is a question you do not know please try and relate the question to your daily life work experience business home or something you've read something you've read before you know it's 
kind of help you do not leave your paper empty be sure you write something down my last diet that made me qualified the one they asked me the one they not ask me the one that looks like the one they asked I wrote down everything. <laughs> this book has to be filled, okay? Because now our handwork God did bless you. So please do not submit empty sheets and expect God's blessings. Sometimes what you think is wrong might actually be right. You do not lose anything if you are wrong. Or you stand to gain everything if the answer is correct. Please time yourself and don't waste unnecessary time on any questions. Manage your time well. Fourth point post exams if you'll be having another paper find a quiet place to revise for the next paper and if it's your last please take a break go home and rest attempting to find out how well you did in the exam may only cause more harm than good i know the hurt will be there but there, trust me there's absolutely nothing you can do after you've written the examination and in god we trust last but not the least i actually saved the best for the last prayers Please do not forget prayers. I can sometimes can be like principalities and powers. <laughs> so you need a higher power to conquer I can. You need to plan earlier. When you plan earlier, achieve good results. So like I said earlier, when it's close to the ICAN um, exam, drop the ICAN pack. Just revise your summarized note, pathfinders. You can also revise the questions or the examples in the ICAN pack because sometimes the set exam questions from those questions at the end of each chapter in the ICANN study pack. Delayed gratification. As an ICANN student, there is always opportunity for gone. There is always that one event that you will miss. I was discussing with my colleague as well recently and she was asking questions that when you were writing ICANN, what, what are those events that you miss? Wedding ceremonies, you know, name it. All of those events that we do family or friends and get together and stuff, you would miss out on some things because you can't afford the time. Imagine working and writing ICANN at the same time. Please, try not to skip a diet. Like, even in the, in the eventual of failure god forbid but i mean things happen everything happens in, in its due time and season so even if you fail pick yourself up so fast please do not skip a diet that was i can categorically tell you that it really it really helped me because imagine if i had skipped the november diet and a lot of things change in high can structures you know the papers sometimes you see that maybe for example uh, maybe professional has five papers before and skills has probably six or something you can just see that maybe professional will increase to six it can be like that and it can also be like standards one ias is already different now from what you already know so you don't want to you know skip diet and um, sometimes i don't know this might be you know rumor but sometimes it's also true that maybe a particular diet will do well and another diet will not do well so just keep pushing again another thing is if you skip diet it can really discourage you it's just like you know case in point maybe making youtube videos the last time i posted on this channel was two weeks ago i think because the drive will be reduced or like when you keep doing it like over and over again it keeps getting better and you keep learning better and you know you keep getting the drive to push ahead but if you leave it for a while the drive might not be there i have had friends that maybe left it for a while and you know once life activities start coming in maybe you've got married children or even work it's a lot it's it's difficult to keep up yeah, so it might not easy going back, the zeal might not be there, but if you fail, trust me, it's going to get better. Don't be discouraged because there's always a success story after. Failure is not the end. When I first write, I, I first wrote a um, professional five. I passed, I think two out, I passed two out of five and I was just like, where do I want to start from? SFM. Let me not even talk about it. ISFM is the grace of God I used to pass. I know it's not easy, but if I can't, you can believe you can and you are halfway there don't be hard on yourself it's also important to have good support system we have all failed one way or the other see when i was writing i can i thought i would never qualify even though i badly couldn't wait to I, it looks like something impossible but trust me one day one day is one day i can i'm gonna bash them okay <laughs> Because I can can really be unpredictable. And see, the spiritual controls the physical. So you need God. Do your best and leave the rest for God. Push through. The journey may be rough, but in the end, it will be successful and victorious. Also, join a study group. There are WhatsApp groups and other ICANN online tutorials or tutors. Being a member helps you to avoid procrastination of probably like starting the exam. Helps you to learn faster. Helps to build your confidence. And you can ask questions, you know, from people that has experience. Instead of spending valuable time puzzling over difficulties on your own. The study group really helped me for my case study. Yeah. Apex. I think Apex Professionals. If you are interested, I'm going to give you the name and the contact details of the person. Case study precinct but it's actually worth it. In precinct solution is always available at like very close to the examination. So you take it it really helped me for my case study i will not even lie 
like I read the pristine solution and I was and I passed it, you know, all these groups on WhatsApp, Telegrams helps you to know that you are not alone and you can always get help where necessary. Thank you for watching. And to my newly inducted inductees or to the new chartered accountant, to the newly qualified accountant, congratulations to you. And people that you know in the process, you will definitely attain your own. I will say congratulations to you as well. So congratulations to everyone and congratulations in advance to everybody. May the certificates take you to greater place and open many door of opportunities for you thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you guys in my next video i hope this video encourages one or two people out there stay blessed see you guys in my next video bye